Hey guys, uh, Jonah here, plus one. Hello. My, uh, my pal. Now, it will become very apparent why he's decided to come into this particular video, because my big hairy boy, for those of you that um, are regulars with my channel or know me or whatever, you'll know that this big hairy monster is called Dutch. Um, and you might also be wondering, hang on a minute, you did an unboxing video not that long ago. This is true, but I have decided to do a little bit of a change um, with regards to the beer 52 boxes because I realized a lot of people were getting their beer 52 boxes before me. Um, and I couldn't work it out, but I worked out that you can order them early and uh, Oh, and off he goes. Oh, is he going up there? Let's have a look. There he is. He's supervising, supervising from above. Yeah, as great dictators tend to. Um, so what is John talking about? Well, so what I did was I brought my subscription forwards. So that means I'm going to have two Beer 52 boxes in May. Um, but it also means that my next box will come theoretically at the right time, which is when some of you guys also get your beer 52 boxes. Um, so I won't be kind of out of sequence, um, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do two in May, lucky me. Um, and then the next one will be the June edition, which will come, I guess, first, maybe second week of June, depending how I, I work it out. OK, anyway. Poundland still has my little lock knife, which if I were to carry in my pocket outside the house would be illegal, but because it's inside, it's perfectly legal to have this bastard. One pound, still doing quite well. Like butter, like butter, he says. This was an absolute bargain. It's going to go up there. Okay, so why is he saying double Dutch is the thing for this month? Well, that is because, here we go, <laughs> that is the name of this second May edition. Um, it's called Double Dutch, and um, my little buddy is called Dutch too, so I think that's fantastic. That is pretty trippy when you look at it, don't you think? Pretty trippy one. And Restore Our Earth Collaboration Fest is for next month. So that's definitely going to be in June. Um, oh, OK. So only one piece of propaganda this time. Lumo Bitcoin. Uh, download an app, sign up. You get £10 of Bitcoin, very free. Um, Bitcoin is actually taking a slight downturn these days. Um, but never mind. And I think we've got some nice, yeah, some nice beers in here. Which is cool. Come on. Right. Let us, let's do the snacks. So we've got some pretzels, sea salted pretzels. Uh, oh, and another one has, looks like this one's got a bit loose, or maybe it's been used as some packing. This one is Tex-Mex Cheesy Nibbles. I keep saying I'm going to do reviews of these, but, you know, when, when you've had a few beers, you've got to have some nibbles, don't you? Okay, so, there are quite a few bottles in this bad boy, so let's do the bottles first. So we have got up and top, and that is from Brewer Brewergy de Moulin. And as we know, Moulin, I believe, is the windmill. Oh, and from the same place, we have hammer and sickle porter. <laughs> hammer and sickle. Hmm. On trend, perhaps, at the moment. 
Uh, and then we have a couple that look like from the same place, which is called Oedipus, and this is called Strip or Stripe. Uh, from the look of it, it's a vice beer or a wit beer, four and a half percent. Judging from the tops, this is also from Stripe, which is sorry, also from Oedipus. This is a mango sour, uh, and this is called Polo Amore. This one's five percent. And finally, on the bottles, we have this one from. Swickels. This is a nice pilsner from the look of it. Um, and this one's 5.3. So they're the bottles. We've got five bottles. And that must mean we've got five cans as well. So some of these are, are kind of doubled up. We've got these guys, two chefs brewing. Um, these are cool. That looks like it's some sort of anniversary. Come on, dude. 10 years, it says. And this is called the Kenyan, the Kenyan Falcon, Funky Falcon Pale Ale. Okay, I like the can. That's a really nice shiny can. Um, do, do, do. Can't really see the ABV on that one, but never mind. I think. There is another two brewers one in here, but never mind. So we have this one, Bolsat and Cater. Bolsat and Cater, Rice, Rice and Rice and with some dready looking hippie chick on there, uh, drinking some uh, some Weissen. So I guess that's a head Weissen, maybe. Who knows, who knows, who knows? We've got a stout, extra stout. This is called Dutch Dry Stout. Joppen, uh, Joppen Craft Beer. Five and a half. Uh, you know I love my stouts. A couple more to go. This was always going to be a reasonably quick video anyway. Which one is, ah, there's the other one. <laughs> the other two chefs, and this one's called Flat White, but it's an espresso milk stout. So and it even looks like I've got some stickiness on the outside. That that's bonus points in my book. Stickiness on the outside of a can. Uh, I'm sure the details are on there. Oh, there we go. Six percent, six percent stout, which is always good in my book. And that leaves, finally, another stout. This one is a coffee stout. And this is more Slutov Beer Engineers. Oh, it says here, it says, review this beer and enter our prize draw to win some goodies. See the back of the label? Well, you know I'm up for beer review. Uh, Jesus, very, very small writing. Let's have a look, come on. Uh, review this beer and enter our prize draw. Scan the QR code, leave an honest review on our website. Uh, leaving your info and review gives you a chance of winning some, some stuff, some beer, in fact. So, if you wanna be a bit sly, Pause this video, scan that QR code, and enter that damn competition. So there we go, double Dutch. So all of these beers are from, yeah, from the land of windmills and flat things and dikes and weed. Um, yeah, the land of, uh, well, I say Dutch, the land of the Netherlands. Or I should say, the Netherlands is actually more than one country. Did you know that? Because um, it's Netherlands plural, whereas Holland is one country. And then there are a couple of other little principalities and things that make up the Netherlands. You see, when you drink as much beer as me, it makes you smarter. Shamon. <laughs> anyway, 
Guys, I don't want to waste too much of your time. We're almost at 10 minutes. Thanks for tuning in um, to this second beer unboxing of the month. Double Dutch will definitely be drinking some of these beers, which is fantastic. And it also gives me a whole month to, uh, to review. I'm going to try and do a lot of these beers if I can. You know I'm trying to pair beers up. So there were, there were two of these beers, two of these beers, and two of these beers. So they're all going to get done. And then we've got one, two, three, four random beers, which are, uh, yeah, all going to be from, from Holland. Guys, it's been Uncle Jonah unboxing beer. So you don't have to unbox your beer and get your fingers caught on dodgy one pound knives. Um, <laughs> click like and subscribe down back below. I know I keep going on about it. But most people don't, but my channel's still kind of not hitting the metrics that it should do or used to. So please click a uh, like at the very least down below. And if you do so um, and click the bell, or ring my bell, um, that means you're gonna you're gonna join in for when I drink these beers and review them, and I might even which one is it? I might even win some swag with this beer, so I might even drink that one pretty quickly. See if I can get some Dutch swag, <laughs> guys. This has been Uncle Jonah here. Look at him; he's gone to sleep. Uncle Jonah and my pal Dutch up there. We will see you real soon. Take care. Remember to drink some beers. Shaman.